Yep. So we're gonna start by sanding our edges. That takes the excess paper or tissue off. I'm going to be using the Ashfaltum glaze, our finishing glaze. It's an antiquing glaze. I'm taking a little rag. A clean bit of rag as well, guys. And I'm going to start. And I'm going to go along the outer edge. Now, the asphaltum has a little tiny bit of a shimmer inside of it. It's really pretty. And this keeps it nice and dark should anybody have had ink or something they didn't want to see around the edges. <laughs> this works well to darken it up. So I'm going to keep my corners nice and dark. It's almost like walking it out when we're doing our painting. But you can see the difference from that side to this side. And I come right onto my paint. It just antiques dark in those nice little grooves. And I'm keeping the dark, wet part of my rag towards the outside edge, like if we're painting. Anywhere that's a little light, I'm tapping it on there. It has a little heavier ink. And then once it's dry, if you think you want it to be a little darker, you can go back. But after a while, if I keep going around it right now, I'm just going to end up removing what I have on there. So we go like that, and now we're going to do the drawers. We're antiquing. We're going to antique on the drawers, around the corners. We'll come down to the bottom corner. Bring it in. And this is again with our cottage antique. It has a little bit of a shimmer in it. And I'm just kind of going around the corners, around the top, and walking it out on the corners. I don't want too much antiquing to take totally my purple away, but it tones it down a bit. So that's the Ashfaltum a little tiny bit of a glimmer in there. It's very pretty. So that's the antiquing. So you can see the difference from the top drawer to the bottom drawer, how it sets it in. Mm -hmm. And if you want to strengthen it up more, she may antique around the tops of these pieces here. Uh, that's what I would do, not down the whole thing, just uh, around the top corners, around the bottom, coming up a little bit, and uh, on the base, around the base as well. And that's how we would antique this cute little dresser with our tissues from Reed.